Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. I wanted to shoot a video today in regards to the topic of scopes on your turkey shotgun and why you need a scope on your turkey shotgun, okay? So I've had this shotgun about 17, 18 years. Now, for a long time, it was really the only shotgun I had and used, okay? So, I didn't have a scope on it then because I used it for other types of hunting, such as dove hunting, other types of wing shooting where you're not gonna be looking through a scope. However, I've added a couple of shotguns to the collection and therefore this shotgun I only use for turkey hunting. And I guess it could still be used for deer, hog hunting with a slug or, or self-defense. So, I just recently put this scope on. I did a lot of research, and the main reason for putting a scope on a shotgun is that turkey shells in general are designed for long range. They shoot super tight patterns, not just with the shells themselves, but with the tight, the ultra full chokes. We're able to really get out there in distance. So. Our optics, our sights, must also be precise to accommodate those super tight patterns. The biggest turkey I've ever shot at, I shot it at, at 20 yards, and all I had was the, the dot on the end. At one time, the shotgun had the, the two, the double part of the iron side on the back. I had took that off because it broke. But I was, I was shooting a three and a half inch Magnum and I saw the wad fly right over the turkey's head. And I knew right then I'd screwed up. Had I had a scope on this shotgun at that time, I would have got that bird. Biggest, biggest turkey I've ever seen and, and was able to take a, had a clean, clear shot at it, just flat out missed him. The shotgun was shooting such a tight pattern. And I had I been shooting a, a bird shot or um, an open choke, I would have killed that bird. But I was turkey hunting, had turkey shell, turkey choke, super tight pattern, wide and shot and all went right over his head, okay? Really bummed that day. So the turkey shells today, we're able to really get out there in range. So the NWTF says that it's really ethical to shoot at a turkey at 40 yards or less, okay? And I would absolutely argue that point today with the technology of shotgun shells, the chokes, and, and the guns themselves, as well as the optics. So a uh, 12 gauge, three, three and a half inch Magnum, that, that pattern doesn't really start to get perfect, I'd say, until 25 or 30 yards, okay? And I think it stays perfect out to about 40 in most situations. However, you get in the 12 gauge, three and a half inch magnums and the 10 gauges, which is also three and a half inches, but a little bit bigger in diameter. I have seen on YouTube where, where we had a, a scope with a shotgun with just a three inch 12, 12 gauge and one of the new advanced shotgun shells put six pellets in a turkey's head at, at 100 yards, okay? So in other words, with that setup, they were they would be able to kill a turkey at 100 yards, okay? 100 yards. So imagine if they had an actual scope instead of a red dot on and was also shooting a three and a half inch Magnum and also, or maybe a, a 10 gauge, okay? They could have put even more pellets in that turkey's head and the energy would also have been greater at that, at that range, okay? So what I put on this is a Vortex Diamondback. I think it's a, it's a 1.75 by 5 by 32. So I would say to get a 1 or a, or a 1.75 to start with an extended eye relief. So again, this is a Mossberg 835. I shoot 3.5 inch Magnums out of it. I was able to find a specific scope base to mount it. I do like that it's a one piece aluminum, no lapping required. And of course, we always want to mount a scope as far forward as possible for recoil, especially when we're dealing with turkey, turkey shells. Okay, recoil is absolutely significant, especially in a three and a half inch magnum. 
Of course, the auto loaders are a little less with the recoil because of the action. So this, I love this scope mount. I have it on a couple other of my actual rifles, but I do wish it was a little further forward mounted. Okay, I do have a, a recoil pad on the shotgun that does help as far as my pull. I am a little further away from the scope because of the recoil pad, which helps. I've not yet bore sighted it or sighted it in. They do make bore sighters for shotguns. I'm going to be purchasing one of those soon. So that'll just help cut down on the spent shells when I'm sighting this in. So I'll bore sight it probably at 30 or 40 yards. And then I'll, I'll sight it in completely. But I really want to be, want my pattern dead bullseye at 50 yards, okay? And from my research, what I've seen, it, once I sight it in at 50 yards, if I see a turkey at 75 yards and I cannot get him to come any closer, I'm going to take the shot if I have a clear shot and I can hold steady, okay? I've done the research. We can absolutely kill a turkey that far. Maybe even 100, but I, I don't know if I want to push it to 100 yet. But this is what we got. Again, if a turkey's super close, you have to be so precise with your aiming or you will miss that bird, okay? Because you at, at 20 yards or less with a turkey round, you're talking about a pattern like this, okay? The size of your, size of your fist, okay? If you're shooting iron sights, there's a high probability you're going to miss that bird, okay, at that close range. And then when you get out past 40 yards, then you got to be even more precise with the pattern because it's, it's a sparser pattern at that point. With the scope, you're just able to do that. I'd say a scope's even more precise than a red dot. Red dots are they're hit or miss as far as precision, I think. So again, you will increase your turkey kills with putting a scope on your turkey shotgun. No question about it. I've done the research. I'll start a conversation on this. I'll put links down below for all these items. Hit the thumbs up icon if you don't mind and subscribe. Share this video. And I can assure you, you put a scope on your turkey shotgun and you will fill more tags this turkey season. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.